Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to use Trello to make life simpler and organize your goals. Trello is a website um, and an app that you can use to you know, get organized, to put workflows in, to put the most amazing to-do lists in, and to just feel less stressed, have less paper clutter, um, and actually get things done. I find so often I am like queen of having 100 notebooks and not actually doing anything with them. And so instead, I've come to use Trello because this way I actually pay attention to them. So this is how I organize life goals. You may have seen some of my other videos on um, other ways that I organize everything else, but this one is specifically for my goals, okay? So with Trello, um, I'm gonna actually show you how to copy this board so you can keep it, it is yours. You have to save it to your um, Trello doc so that you can edit, but you can also start your own. So let's just go back here real quick. If you go underneath boards, you can see all the different ones I have. These are templates that I give out. Um, and this is mine called Life Goals. So you, it'll be here on your doc. You're gonna hit Show Menu, More, and Copy Board. It's super simple. Then you can name it whatever you want, like My Goals, and hit Save. If you click Keep Cards, what's gonna happen is all these cards will stay and you can edit them, um, which is totally cool. But if you don't copy this, you won't have access to edit um, at all, and so then you'll just have a template to look at, which is fine, you can just hit Create Board and make your own board based on this. That works as well. All you have to do is sign in and get a free account if you don't already have a Trello account. So let me show you kind of at a glance just a general one I made. These things across the top, these are our lists, and these are basically categories that you can have to organize your thoughts. So to make a new list, just go on over. You hear here where it says add a list and you can type in. So say I wanted to type in um, an area of my life so I could say like faith and hit save. I've now created a new area I'm making goals. Then you create what's called cards. I'm gonna show you how to create this card and then we'll look at some of the samples I did for goals. So say one of my goals is attend church one time one time a week. Yeah, that makes sense, one time a week. Type that in, hit enter. Now I've got my card here. Now, here's where you can add a description. What does this mean? You know, like, you can say like service, Sundays, 9.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. You could put the address in, 115 Street Road. Uh, you could put in the name of the church. You could put in anything you want there. Under comments is where you can add things. So maybe you want to leave comments for this goal, for example. I would say like if my goal was to attend church one time a week, each week I would want to put like a takeaway. So I could put like 615, um, you know, like God is always there for you <laughs> or whatever you wanted it to be. And then you could write maybe a reflection or maybe you heard a song that you were like, oh, I love that song. You know, like hills and valleys, be like oh, song. So I could like look it up or I could say, oh, I love that or whatever. And then you could leave your comment. You also could do an attachment. So say you loved this song, you could go to YouTube and you can click attachment and you can actually put the link right here. So that's there. Say there's scripture you wanted to type in. You can do that as well. You also could do things like create a checklist. I mean, for this one, attend church one time a week. I mean, I guess you could, to set up a goal, you could say like weeks. And you could say, I'm making up days right now. So we'll just say like one, 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 eight, one, fifteen, right? Like that's like once a week, right? So then what you could do is just check it. Did I go on one, one? Bam, I did. Woohoo, 33% to my goal. Excellent job. Did I go on one, eight? Oh yeah, I rock, you know? And you can track your goal that way. It's super easy. All right, let me show you some of the other samples that I made. You can add more though. So say for faith, you wanted to also say like, um, uh, go on a missions trip. This one's a little more in depth, right? So when you click here, you could uh, maybe make a checklist things to research. And then I'd probably make a second checklist actually that's like things to do. So things to research, I can add an item like, where am I needed? Uh, how much does it cost? Um, what to pack. And then things to do would be like, talk to missions director at church. Uh, check out flights. Get a passport. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so see how I just kind of put all those things in here so you can keep them all in one space. And as you see, once you've made a checkbox, it tells you how many things you've done. This one says I have one comment, two out of three things are done. So see how organized it is based on the categories. So let's go back and show you some of the other goals I made. So just personal goal, cook three recipes a month. Now what's cool here is you can click on this and you can add the links for the recipes. You can again add in the checklist for the dates so that you can, um, let's see. Um, this one could be called, so for three new recipes a month, I would probably call this something like, um, did I make it? <laughs> did I cook? Uh, we'll say, um, January one, oops, January one recipe, January two recipe, or recipe number two, that makes a lot more sense, recipe number two, January recipe number three. And this way you're tracking your goals. There's nothing better than data when you're tracking goals. You need to know what progress you've made. So that could go there. Creating a family scrapbook is a personal goal. Reading a personal growth book a month. So under the checklist, I put some of my favorite books here. Um, you should definitely read all three of these, if not more. Um, and then you can check them off. Did I read Nourished by Crystal? My friend Crystal Bailey is amazing. There we go. Did I read your book? Woohoo! Or you could even say, if this is one checklist, then I would also make a second checklist that says month completion. And you could put like January. And then you check it off and you get there, February. Yeah, I hit my January goal. And there you go. You could keep links of books people recommend. That's what I would definitely do. Um, as soon as someone recommends a book to me, it goes into my Trello board under book recommendations so I don't forget it. Um, I tend to either take out way too many library books at one time or buy too many audiobooks at one time. So I decided if I just started to keep a list of all of them, I'll just go one at a time. <laughs> you don't have to overwhelm yourself. I either read some health goals, run a half marathon, so things you need to do, buy new shoes, sign up for a race, find a training plan. And then here's the date, uh, June 22nd is the half marathon. You could put that in there. Use my food journal, meditate, meal plan. So these are some of my health goals. I also put in a professional goal, find two freelance jobs as a stay-at-home mom. So you can see here, if you click, there's a little picture because I've linked this um, here. So this actually just links you to a picture, um, but it could also link you to this which is a blog post I wrote on six ways to make money from home as a stay-at-home mom. <laughs> so, you know, you could read this if you copy the board, it's all yours. Um, but you can also just post anything. You know, if you see something on Pinterest, this happens to me a lot where I'll see something on Pinterest and I pin it, but I actually want to read it. You know what I mean? How you see stuff, you're like, ooh, that's cool, I'll come back to it later. But then there's stuff like, no, 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 I need to read this this week. I actually have a board on Pinterest called like read this week. And so I save it to that board, see your board. So I remind myself to do it, but that was also getting messy. So I sometimes will just take the link and put it in my Trello board so that I don't lose it and forget it. Um, let's see. So family, family game night, three times a month. So here's just a picture of a game. Here's a link I linked directly to um, Amazon where you could buy the game. So you could do that as well. If someone recommends a book or something, or a game or something, you could put it here so you don't forget it. Um, then I have, so this is where, if I had, where's that, the faith one, I'm just gonna drag it. So I'm just clicking and dragging so that all the categories are here. And again, say I wanted to make this month's focus, I wanted that at the top, I can just drag it. You can also just drag these bad boys. So I have another list here that's like, sorry, done. So say I complete, this goal. Say I go on my mission strip, I can just put it here under done, which is very cool, right? Um, so these ones I actually want at the front of the page. So I'm going to drag them over now. <clears throat> this month's focus. So you can take your goals and then you can even move them and move them back. So if this month you wanted to create a family scrapbook, you could just move that to this month's focus. Or if this month you really want to focus on your half marathon training, you could put it here. This month I want to focus on dating my husband. So here is um, Ultimate Date Night book that, you know, this could, this is a picture actually, but I could post like a link to attach there. Um, I could also add a label to it. So let's create a label that just says like um, marriage. So this is like a marriage goal I have. Let's say I have one that's like, let's do another one. Um, this one is personal. So I'm gonna call this one personal. And maybe I'll make one more that's like finance, right? 
here we go, we'll click here, and my label is finance. I'm just creating it, it's making it a different color. But now what's cool is I can look and see different types of goals I have. Here's a personal goal, here's one about um, finance, here's a marriage one. So I can kind of see where my priorities are or like what I really wanna focus on. I wanna plan my son's first birthday party. What I would honestly do is link this to my other Trello board that's all on how to plan a birthday party. So it's here. And I then put a next month focus, start my Christmas savings. This is where I can add in how to save money for Christmas. I have a couple blog posts on that. Um, and that really, really helps. So I do this actually, um, I will make one big one for like the whole year. And then it has uh, all the months as a different list. So then I can drag and drop them into the list. And I follow the premises behind like the 12 week year. So I look at each quarter as a year. So if, you know, for example, this is one of my big goals, I would just take this whole card and move it wherever I wanted it to. So I would know what I was doing. So hopefully that really helps you. Um, I love Trello. I think it is the best. Again, you can use my link and sign up and um, it gives me a free month of Trello goal, but it gives you access to this board where you can copy the entire thing and not start from scratch. You can steal my goals, make them your own. Um, and I hope that really helps. So have a good one. And if you have any other questions, just let me know.